boy. See, listen, man. I ran across this on Twitter. And as you can see, this is Dr. Umar Johnson here that made the post. And you see he's got a hashtag snow bunny crisis. And it says caused by black mothers who don't teach their sons to stay loyal to their sisters. And you see it's got the Becky here and a bunch of brothers looking at her like she's some object of awe and just all enamored with this motherfucker with a little alabaster looking ass. I have to disagree. Dr. Johnson, I have to disagree and I'm going to get into why I disagree. First of all, let's go with what you're saying as if it was true. The only way this could be true is if a black woman raised her child around a non-black man in a non-black environment, neighborhood, sent them to all white schools or whatever, and constantly preached or taught anti-black hatred in that household. Okay. That, that's really the only way you could blame that on a black woman. Now, why am I saying that? Let's break it down. It is true that all women are the first teachers of children. However, they're not the only teachers of children. You see, our sisters here, because I'm talking about black women in particular, since this post is saying that, our sisters also have fathers to those children. And one of the duties and goals of a black father is the best way for him to teach his son to respect black women and to honor and value them is to teach him about the history of black society in America as a whole. He's supposed to be responsible for teaching his son about the history of black people on the planet period and the things that we have gone through dealing with the dominant society, the alabaster class, as I call them. And if you got a household where there's two parents doing that, then the children that come out of those households, whether they're black boys or black girls will not grow up to be enamored with white people. Now, that being said, when a person reaches a certain age and gets out into the world, and has their own experiences in life. You never know what they will choose, but you can be sure as a parent, you've done your job. If you've instilled it into them to know their history, to understand current present day geopolitical events and things that affect them in society today, you've done your part. If you were that type of parent, once you get to be an adult, you're going to make your own decisions about a number of things. A lot of us, we were taught by, you know, our parents, certain things, certain values and traditions. And once we got of age, you could have all that knowledge, but you're going to have to get out there and bump your head and see if it's really that way. You got to put it to the test. And sometimes that happens and people find out, oh, damn, mom and dad was right. You know, hey, let me go back and, and, and fall back on that. Or you got some people. That'd be like, nope, I'm going to keep banging my head against the brick wall of life until it costs me. And you end up being a Stefan Clark. Or you end up being any of these number of sisters that have been with these damn brads and they turn around and kill their ass. Stefan Clark running his mouth, talking about dark bitches bring dark days and support police and all that. And we all saw how that turned out. So now, nah, Umar, man, I, I can't let you put that all on black women. Now, I don't know if he was saying this in context to something else. I hope he was, because if he's standing on this and you're going to double down on this, man, this ain't the hill to die on, brother. That doesn't make any sense, man. You can't just dump it all on black women. That no, 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 no. You can't do that, man. That self-hatred comes from both ends of the spectrum. Now, here's a, I'm, I'm going to deal with this fairly, too. Let's just say it's a single mother household. OK. Now. You can kind of blame that on her then 
as far as what she's teaching that child, if it's a bunch of anti-black, you know, rhetoric or what have you, or she's a self-hating individual, okay, you can blame her then, but I still got to say, hey, where's where's that black boy's father at? Hmm? It's got to be some black men around to teach them something. And see, most, most of our sisters that are in single mother situations for a number of different reasons, they have sense enough to know that they can't teach a young black boy everything he's going to need to know to become a black man. They know that. The wise ones do. The wise ones do. Let me let me make that clear. The wise ones do. You cannot do it. You cannot on your own teach a black boy how to be a man. He needs to be around either his father or other black male family members that can do that. Because only we have that experience of what it's going to be like for this black boy if he lives to become a black man in America. You can't give him that experience because you're not a black man. The same would apply for a black father that's raising a daughter. I, I can't, you know, if I had a daughter, I couldn't teach her what it's going to be like for her to be a black woman in America. I can tell her all the things that I know and see. But I'm not one, so I can't train her to be that. I have to make sure that she's with her mother or some other female members, family members in, in, in my family that could do that, if that would be the case. So I just had to touch on this one, man. I don't know what old boy is thinking. I ain't going to go in on him about nothing else. But I just thought this was interesting <laughs> that he put this up here and tried to blame it all on on black women as far as this regards if you all know what he was talking about and it was further context to it please drop a comment let me know maybe i'm missing something here but that's my take on it i'll see you all in future content black first stay safe